No. Your Achilles tendon. Whoa! 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 All right, people. forte prep, they'll still play forte, and then you can make beat, so I mean, a big, right, so. I talked about B1 of measure three. Yes. Mm -hmm. Context of piano, right? Mm -hmm. And then it drops immediately back down to piano again and then crescendos. Okay. Um, and then in measure four, it's forte. The whole measure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, the rooftop accent was probably too much. a little too much, but the more important thing is it needs to immediately come back down to piano so you can get the crescendo. And then um, measure four just needs to stay forte the whole time. It was maybe, a, a, it might have started out a forte, but then it dropped down. Because okay. I know you were really wanting to make sure that accent popped out, which is great. But make the beginning of the measure really strong so that it still stays in the forte context. Okay. okay. If you want to move on to number three, you can. Or you can do it again. It's fine. Whatever. I'll try it again. accent instead of a this accent. Well, I'm doing that because it goes into legato. You, that legato you do not have to prep. Really? It's more important to prep the dynamic and to make sure you're, you're letting go of the accent fast enough because legato, you can pull through it. Like you can start out running into it, but if you pull through it, most of the time they'll play. So like, uh, let's see. 
you could do it that way where you freeze on the top and then drift back down a little bit. So like, uh, I'd have to practice it. But if you stay where you are when you give the accent and then uh, it's just a little bit of a push down, then they'll play softer for you and you'll get the accent you're okay. looking for. All right, number three. Thank <laughs> Okay. 